Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Welcome if you are new, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into this video. So for today, I'm going to be doing a Halloween nail set using this PWT. Not sure how to pronounce it, but that's as best as I can say it. I'm go they sent me this gel polish, so thank you very much. They sent me two boxes of six gel colors. Each box comes with the instruction manual, pamphlet thing with their social medias, and then it also comes with six colors of gel polish. And I'm going to be using these sets today to do a Halloween nail set, and I love this gel polish. I thought this gel polish was very pigmented with the color of the polish. It also applied very smooth and cured very well in my lamp. I did go on with some thick layers for the swatches so they didn't cure very well. So just remember to stick with thin layers with this gel polish and build it up if necessary. But I'm just going to be swatching all of these for you. And I loved the colors in this set. It was a rainbow set, but instead of red, it was a pink. And I just loved that. I thought these colors looked so good together. And yeah, I love them. <laughs> I can't wait to continue using them in the future. But like I said, I did go on with thick layers for the swatches. And I shouldn't have because I didn't realize how thick and pigmented this polish was. And you do not need a thick layer to get full coverage and for a bright color, which is very pigmented. So because I did apply such a thick layer of these colors and that they are very pigmented, I did have to cure these for like 120 seconds, but if you apply a thin layer, I'm sure you would just do a normal cure 30 to 60 seconds. So I didn't show their social medias, but that also comes with this, and then on the back it shows some more instructions. But here are all of the colors. You get a rainbow set practically, but without a red. So if you're looking for a red, you would want another kit. But I really love the colors. They were very neon and bright and so pretty. I love them. So this was the first gel polish set. And the, here is the next gel polish set. And the box said that it was pine scent. And I was super excited when I saw this. But I did not smell pine scent in these gel polishes. So I don't know if maybe I just couldn't smell it or what. But yeah, it's okay. Um, it also came with the instruction manual. Which, it shows instructions for cat eye gel polish, which I didn't get any cat eye gel polish in either of these sets. Which I thought I was going to, for the reason that it had it on the instructions. But I just assumed that they put that on there so they can use the same instruction manuals for each of the sets. So in this set, it's kind of like, I don't know, I was thinking like a fall themed set, but not really fall, kind of like natural colors more or less but these were also pretty colors very pigmented and I did apply a thick layer of these too and I wish I wouldn't have done this when I actually did my nails I did not apply a thick layer because by then I knew that these were very pigmented and thick polishes and that you did not need a thick layer 
for the color to be very pretty. But I loved all of these and I was so happy with the set that I created with these colors. And I de definitely recommend these gel polishes to anyone. So here were all the colors that came in this gel polish set and they were kind of like neutral fall colors and I loved them. I thought the one on the end, the dark purple, was a black but then I realized that it was a purple and I already had a set in mind so I did use one gel polish of my own but I didn't think I was going to have to. But anyways, here are both of the colors. I love how they sent me a more neutral kit and then a more neon bright kit. And both of these gel polish sets were beautiful colors, very pigmented, and very nice to work with. So I am going to be using the McCart Coffin nail tips. And I'm going to be using yellow, orange, and white. If you guys can already know what I'm going to be painting, go ahead and comment that down below now. But now I'm just taking my McCart hand file and filing off the tops of these nails just so they can be smooth and not have that little edge. And then I'm going to be taking my buffing block and buffing the tops of these nails. After buffing the tops of the nails, I just wiped them off with my dust brush and taking my McCart base coat and applying a layer of base coat to all of these nails. And then I'm going to pop them into my lamp to cure for 30 seconds. After my base coat was cured, I'm just taking my lint-free wipe and my 91% isopurple alcohol and wiping off that sticky layer from the base coat. I did this just to help since I was going to be doing a ombre nail. I didn't want the sponge to stick to the nail, but I did decide to go in and paint these all white. So. I could not find any new makeup little wedge sponges, so I did have to use an old beauty blender. I did watch the, wash this very well, but it is kind of stained with foundation. And don't worry, I did not use this on my face after I finished using it. But here I did a test run off camera, and the one on the right, the one I'm pointing to there, has white underneath, and then the one on the left has nothing underneath and I decided that it looked a lot nicer and cleaner if I would paint the white underneath. So I did go ahead and paint a what one coat of white gel polish on all of the nails and then go ahead and cure my lamp for 30 seconds.
so after the white gel polish was cured, it had a sticky layer, so I took my alcohol wipe, not my alcohol wipe, my lint-free wipe and my alcohol and just wiped off that sticky layer. And then since I did try this already off camera, I kind of had the hang of what I was doing. I just took the candy corn colors and placed it on the sponge in the correct order and then I just dabbed it onto the white nail. And I did this two times. I did it once and then cured and then I did it again. So it had more of like a dominant color. <laughs> it kind of looked a little bare the first time so I wanted to make sure I did it again. And I loved the way this looked. I never tried doing an ombre like this and I thought it looked so good that I definitely need to purchase some little makeup sponges so that I can do this more often with different colors. I loved it and it was so easy to do. It was a little messy. I did kind of get gel polish all over my fingers but I guess if I were wearing gloves that wouldn't have happened. But I loved how it turned out. So here is where I was showing that this was actually a very dark purple and not a black. I thought about using it that way I could stay cohesive and use all of the colors from the gel polishes, but I did decide that I was just going to be using the Beatles black gel polish just to make sure that it looked good and that I liked it. So I just went ahead and used the Beatles black gel polish for the design. And I'm just taking a little bit of that and pouring it onto my green little palette tray. So I did apply a matte top coat to the, all of the nails, that way it was easier for me to draw on my design. And I also did two coats of that sponge to make it look a little bit more color. And also adding that white underneath definitely helped a lot. So I was just using my dotting tools here and drawing on some jack-o'-lantern faces. I kind of just freehanded this with whatever I wanted to draw. I just drew like I was cutting out a pumpkin. I didn't give it much thought. It was a super simple and easy design and it looked like it was very like complicated to do and it was super easy. I, I didn't even think I was going to be able to do it at first but once I started I was like oh wow this is so easy and turned out so good. I loved them. I thought they were so cute and I love that since it wasn't just a plain orange background, it was like a more in-depth background as like a candy corn. It just made it look 10 times better and I love this set. So I did not show the process of me applying the top coats to these nails or applying them to my nails. All I did was use the McCart top coat and I used the McCart nail glue and just glued these onto my nail beds. So now I'm just taking my cuticle oil pen and adding some cuticle oil to all of my cuticles and I'm sorry that I'm so much, okay that's better. I really need to practice on that, but anyways, now I'm just adding the cuticle oil and then I'm going to rub that in, and I loved this nail set. This is probably one of my favorite Halloween nail sets that I've created so far this year, and I love it. And I love the gel polishes too. I think the gel polishes were great for this set. Look at how cute. I love them. <laughs> I love them so much. I think I love that ombre a lot. I think that ombre really pulled it together. I'm glad I had an old beauty blender because, yes, this looks so good. <laughs> 
So if you are looking for some great quality gel polishes, I definitely recommend giving this brand a try. They have so many different gel polishes and so many fun little collections and I just love them. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.